Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Learn with Preeti Bedi. Whether you're planning to immigrate or study in an English speaking country, the first and foremost step is to take an English proficiency test. IELTS being the most widely accepted test becomes a choice for most of us. Ever since IELTS has introduced computer delivered exam, most people are in a dilemma to choose between the two, paper based test or computer delivered exam. In this video, we will discuss an overall difference between the two. Here, I'm not going to recommend which one should you choose, but once you know the differences between the two, I'm sure you will be able to choose between the two depending upon your convenience. So let's begin to see what are the difference between the two exams. Many people think that computer delivered exam is easier than the paper based exam, but that is not true. The difficulty level for both the exams is exactly the same and both the exams are marked on the same parameters. So there is no difference in the difficulty level. Another major difference is the results. In a computer delivered exam, you get your results within five to seven working days. Whereas in a paper based exam, you have to wait for 13 days to get your results. If we talk about the writing section of the IELTS exam, the difference between computer delivered and paper based is that in paper based, you will be using pen or a pencil to write your exam. Whereas on a computer delivered test, you will be typing your essays and letters with a keyboard. So you must decide depending upon your typing speed and your handwriting. Obviously, in computer delivered exam, you do not have to worry about your handwriting, whether it's legible or not. But in paper based, you sh your handwriting should be good enough and legible enough for the examiner to understand what you write. There is one plus point in the computer delivered exam uh, and that is there is an on-screen word counter when you are writing your essay and letter. So you do not have to worry about counting your words just like we have to do it manually in the paper based exam. So if you think that is a plus point, you can opt for a computer delivered exam. There is one misconception regarding the writing exam and that is many people think that your spelling errors or grammatical errors will be highlighted just like they are highlighted in MS Word or other writing platforms but it doesn't happen in the exam so make sure you check your spellings and grammatical errors now if we talk about the listening section of the exam although the exam is exactly the same that is you get 30 minutes to listen to the audio and then you answer uh, depending upon the audios the difference is that in a paper based exam you get extra 10 minutes to transfer your answers to the answer sheet however that doesn't happen in a computer delivered exam because you have to write your answers while listening to the audio and in the end you only get two minutes just to check your answers now talking about the reading section again the exam is exactly the same you have 60 minutes 40 questions three passages there is one difference that in a paper based exam there is a clock on the wall and you have to keep checking the time yourself and calculate the time yourself to know how much time is left for your exam whereas in the computer delivery exam there is an on screen clock which keeps reminding you about the time left also in the computer delivered exam the copy and paste function works in the reading section for a few questions you have to answer exactly the same words from the passage there you can copy the words from the passage and paste into your answers so there will be less chances of errors especially the spelling errors so this is one plus point i hope that after watching this video you will be able to choose between the two exams whether should you take computer delivered or paper based it all depends on your convenience, whether you are comfortable with a pen and paper based test or a computer delivered exam. The key to scoring high in IELTS is practice. So whichever exam you choose, computer delivered or paper based, keep practicing before the exam. If you have any questions related to IELTS, 
please leave them in the comments below and I will definitely answer all your questions. Like this video and share with your friends. Subscribe to my channel for more such videos and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.